Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how I used my Cricut machine to make these cute little gift tags. I used print and cut, and I also show you a great hack for having the Cricut right on the back of the gift tag. You can also have the Cricut draw the names on the tag as well, but I left that part blank. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. It is completely free, and I share Cricut and crafting tutorials once a week. I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go over to Images and type in Tag. You can almost always find free tags in Design Space. If you go over to Free, it'll pop up with these. And here you can see this is a standard tag. So you can usually find that. The one I am going to use is this one. It has the rounded corners. I don't want it to draw this outline, so I am going to come over to my layers panel and I'm actually just going to delete it. And now I just have the tag layer. I'm also going to change this to white. I'm also going to size this. I'm going to make it three inches for my height. I just pulled in my image. I bought this off of Etsy. I believe when I searched for it, I just searched for sublimation images, but it works for print thin cut. And I can leave the link down below for the Etsy shop that I bought this from. It is so cute. Since I have my tag sized, I'm just going to make this fit right inside the tag. Now I'm going to highlight over both the tag and the image. I'll come up to align and hit center. Now this next part is really important. You could attach this and it'll pull up just like this on the make it screen. But if you just attach it, it's going to cut out every little piece of the Christmas tree. So what you need to do is flatten it instead. So you want to make sure you have your image plus your tag selected, then come down and select flatten. I'll be coming back in Cricut Design Space to do the back of the tag, but for now, this is ready for me to click Make It. I want to fill up this page, and I believe nine of them fills it up. And all you have to do is come up here and change your project copies. So I'll click on nine and hit Apply. Okay, now I can hit Continue. I'll hit Send a Printer. The bleed doesn't really matter for this because all the Cricut is doing is printing out the image and cutting out the tag. It's not even cutting any part of the image, but I'm just going to leave it. But I do want to select use system dialog and I'll hit print. I did an update on my computer and it looks a little different. So I'll scroll down and try this one. Okay, I want to go to my quality and I want to select best. Then I'll hit print. I'm using white 65 pound cardstock. I like the Recollections brand from Michaels and I'm using my Epson inkjet printer. Now the Cricut's ready to cut the tags out and I select medium cardstock. It says 80 pounds even though my cardstock is 65 pounds, but this setting just works really great for me. I place my paper in the upper left hand corner and I like to use my blue light grip mat. It releases the paper easier and it prevents it from ripping. I also like to use my brayer tool to press it into the mat. I load my mat into the Cricut machine, then I press the start button and the Cricut will read those black registration lines. When it's done doing that, it will cut out the gift tags. When it's done, I unload the mat and the best way to remove the tags is to turn the ba mat backwards and you bend the mat and this prevents you from having to bend your paper. Also, I like to buy these Nikapa mats from Amazon. They're cheaper than the Cricut ones and I honestly don't notice a difference at all. I want it to write to and from on the back. What I'm going to do is select on the tag and I am going to come up here and select duplicate. I'm going to unflatten the tag and I am going to delete the trees. Now I'm going to come up here and grab a font 
I'm going to be using a Cricut font. I'll go over to filters and I am going to select a writing filter. The one I'm using is Alyssa Stencil. And I'm going to type in two. I'll hit enter and type in from. Because I typed this all together, it's not letting me align. So what I'm going to do is ungroup lines. Now this pops up and I want to move to all the way over along where from is. So I am going to select a line left. I'm also going to group this together. I'm grouping it so that I can make sure it stays the same size. So I'm going to bring this down and make this fit inside my tag. This white background makes it a little hard to see. I'm going to select down on this blank canvas and come up to change this color just so I can see this a little bit better. Now I want to make to and from a little bit smaller. I'm just eyeballing it, but I think that looks like a good size. As you can see, this is set to pen, so the Cricut is going to draw this out but I have the tag set as print then cut. So this is where it gets a little tricky. If I would change this to cut, then it's going to cut the tag again, and we already have the tags cut out, so I don't want to do that, but I have an amazing hack for this. What you do is you change it to a score. So I go up to my operation and I just select score, Normally what the score lines do is it just creates a crease so that you can fold cards and you would put in your scoring wheel or your scoring stylus into your machine. What I'm actually going to do when the Cricut goes to score, I'm not going to put any tools in there. So basically I am tricking the Cricut to think that it's scoring this, then it'll draw it next. It sounds confusing when I just explain it on here, but I think it'll make a lot of sense when you actually see the Cricut doing this. So I have my wording set to pen and I have my tag set to score. Now I am going to hide this because we are done with it. And there's one last thing I need to do that you don't wanna forget is highlight over the tag and the wording and come down and select attach. Now I'm going to click on make it. This is another part that gets a little tricky. We want to set the tags up on the mat so that it'll match up. So what I am going to do is actually line each one up an inch over on the mat. So I know when I put my tags on my mat, I'm putting it an inch over and I'm doing it an inch down. I'm going to select nine for my project copies again, since that's how many tags we have. I'm just going to slide these out of the way. So my first one, I am going to line this up. Another cool thing you can do is zoom in, which makes this so much easier to line this up. So I want the top of my tag to be one inch down. And it might not be perfect, but I think it'll still be okay. And this one we want one inch over. Now I'm going to bring another tag and what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to the four inch line and do the exact same thing. I can fit three across. I can't fit another one on here, so I'm just gonna bring it down and start lining it up over here. This last row, I can't push it further down, so what I'm going to do is click on these three dots. I am going to select Move Object, and I want to move this to another mat, so I select New. I can keep my current color and hit Confirm. I'm going to switch these others to that mat as well. I'll just line these up the exact same way. I 
I'll go back to my first one and just make sure it's all lined up still. Okay, so now I'll click on continue. It's not going to be cutting anything out at all, but it still makes you select a setting, so I'll just select cardstock. If you have a maker, it's going to come up and tell you to load your scoring wheel. It won't work if you use a scoring wheel. I don't think so anyways. So what I do is I go to edit tools and I select the scoring stylus, then I hit apply. Now it'll say no tool required in clamp B. What it says it wants to do first is use the scoring stylus and it tells us to load that into clamp A, but really we are not going to put anything in clamp A. And then it says it'll do the black pen. So I'll show you on the Cricut how I do this. First, I line up these tags exactly where I lined it up on my computer. So you can see I'm putting this one inch down and one inch over, and I continue to just line these up with the rest of them. I load my mat into the Cricut machine, and as you can see in clamp A, there is no scoring stylus, but the Cricut is thinking that it is scoring, and that just works around us not having to recut these tags, so it works really well. Now that the Cricut thinks it's done scoring, it's going to tell us to load our black pin. I'm using the Cricut pen. I also like to draw on a notebook just to make sure the ink is fully working and then I place it in clamp A and the Cricut will draw on the tags. Now it'll move on to the next mat and I'll follow the same process. I'll pick a random material. I will edit my tool, select the scoring stylus and do the same thing. Hopefully all of these steps make sense, but Cricut Design Space will prompt you and always tell you what to do next. All the gift tags are done. Here is a quick look at the front and back. I added some chiffon ribbon. I bought this ribbon off Amazon and I've been using it a lot. I love it. So here is the final look. Even though there's a lot of steps with this, it really didn't take me that long to make it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below and I will try to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And once again, I would love it if you subscribed if you are new to my channel.